My argument is that we should try our very best to treat people without regard to race, both in our personal lives and our public policy. Of course. And the reason I wrote this book, thank you. Of course. Of course. The reason I wrote this book is because in the past 10 years, hold on, hold on, it has hold been. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Did the crowd brother. just. They did. The crowd clapped. Of course. And the reason I wrote this book, thank you. The reason I wrote this book is because in the past 10 years, it has been, uh, become very popular to, in the name of anti racism, mm -hmm. teach a kind of philosophy to our children and in, in general that says your race is everything. Right? And I think that is the wrong way to fight racism. And that's why I wrote this book at this time. And so many in the black community, if I'm being honest with you, because I want to be, believe that you are being used as a pawn by the right and that you're a charlatan of sorts. He's, he's not a Republican. So how do you... Who, 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 he's never voted for well, you, 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 you said you're a conservative. No, you, you, no. No, you did. You actually said that uh, <laughs> podcast that you did two weeks ago. I said I was a conservative. He's not a yes, conservative. Yes, he doesn't matter. So, but my question, to you, my question to you is, how do you respond yeah. to those critics? Okay, let's, let's give it a okay, let's so let's let's answer. There's two separate questions. One is whether each racial group is socioeconomically the same. That I agree with you. They're not. Yeah, they're not. And the stats the show is, that. But the, yeah, of course, I agree with that fully. The question is, how do, you, how do you address that in the way that actually targets poverty the best? Great. And what Martin Luther King wrote in his book, Why We Can't Wait, mm -hmm. is he called it, we need a Bill of Rights for the Disadvantaged. Mm -hmm. And he said, yes, we should address racial inequality. Yes, right. we should address the legacy of slavery. But the way to do that is on the basis of class. And that will disproportionately target blacks and Hispanics because they're disproportionately poor, but it will be doing so in a way that also helps the white poor, in a way that addresses poverty as the uh, thing to be that, addressed. That part is true. As you are a student of Dr. King, I'm not only a student of Dr. King, I know his daughter, Bernice. Right? Mm. So I, I'm, I'm going to get to my question. Go ahead, go right ahead. Um, Bernice, what does that mean? Dr. King's daughter points out that four years after giving that speech, actually, um, Dr. King also said this, a society that has done something special against the Negro for hundreds of years must now do something special for Negroes. He also said in 1968, it was about less than a week before he was assassinated, this country never stops to realize that they owe a people kept in slavery for 244 years. So rather than class, he did write about that earlier on, She's right before his death. Black. He made the argument for racial equality You're not and racial no reparations. Reparations, and I'm so my reparations your argument for color. I'm gonna get my reparations and buy the view. Mm, I just uh, don't see all y'all buy. I just think man, you buy. It's so word. simple. Bye. If we all just lived off of treat others the way you want to be treated. Boom, done, over with. Racism over. Boom, that's it. Boom. Stop talking about it. Treat us the way you want to be treated. Bow. Sums up everything. Or blindness, I think, is something that the right has co-opted. And so many in the black community, if I'm being honest with you, because I want to be, believe that you are being used as a pawn by the right I and that you're a charlatan of sorts. He's, he's not a Republican. Republican. So how do you... Who, who, he's who never voted well, you, 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 you've said that you're a conservative. No, you, you, no. No, you did. You actually said that uh, in the podcast that you did two weeks ago. I said I was a conservative. He's not. A, yes, he's not. yes, you did. We'll get back to that portion of the exchange in just a minute. But first, I, I do think it's actually important to understand Coleman as a person and the argument he's trying to make. In the interest of full disclosure, though, I do have to admit that I'm a fan of Coleman's, even though he and I have some disagreements. He's more supportive of Israel's war on Gaza, as an example. On some issues, he definitely leans to the right of me. But I actually find him to be thoughtful. He makes thought provoking arguments in good faith. And I don't know about you, but I've been increasingly bored with shows that have default ideological talking points that hosts never deviate from. It's a mindless snooze fest. Sometimes Coleman's analysis on certain current events challenge my own. And I find that to be a good thing. We should all be willing to challenge and reevaluate our own beliefs without assuming the oh one challenging us is some there. grifter or right wing pawn. She kept it on right her. there. She is. Uh, she's uh, cooking. And even Sonny the, all the other people on, on the view were kind of like, hold on, hold on, hold on, Sonny. Like, she's trying to discredit him, bro. 100%. She's trying because to discredit him. He leans him. right. Let me get on the show, Sonny Host. No, but he doesn't, though. I don't even think he does. I, I think it's very important. The quote that you just pointed out 
about doing something special for the Negro. That's yes. from the book Why We Can't Wait that I, that I just mentioned. Yes. A couple paragraphs later, he lays out exactly what that something special was, yes. and it was the Bill of Rights for the Disadvantaged, a broad class-based po policy. But he also Got says him. it must include race. <clears throat> no, he didn't. He says it's yes, a... Yes, he does. Okay, well, everyone can go... Everyone should go read the book Why We Can't Wait. Let's not get <laughs> sidetracked by that. Hey, I ain't gonna lie. Got Sonny, him. Sonny is getting good. Got him. The fact that she's rejecting class-based politics while wearing a Gucci button down and a Gucci belt <laughs> is hilarious. But nonetheless, disagreements about Put MLK tend to, you know, drive me crazy. But Coleman is correct to point out the class-based politics that the civil rights leader espoused. In fact, mainstream discussions about MLK tend to leave out his views on class politics. And by the way, I mean, I think what Coleman is saying is evidenced by the policies that MLK was pushing for, including a universal basic income. It was a universal basic income, meaning that it would apply to everyone regardless of their race. I'm, I don't think I've been co-opted by anyone. I've only voted twice, both for Democrats. Mm -hmm. Although I'm an independent, I would vote for a Republican, mm -hmm. probably a non-Trump Republican if they were compelling. Mm -hmm. um, I don't think there's any evidence I've been co-opted by anyone and I think that that's that's a, an ad hominem tactic people use to not address really the important conversations we're having here. He's a slight, he cooked. He slight cooked pussy right for the Trump comment, but I mean, no, he has I mean, a pussy. He's not a pussy, that, bro. He can have his opinion, bro. It doesn't make him a pussy because you so think So who are you going to vote for? You only got two options. You do. <laughs> he, he can just not vote. That's not going to work. Does that work? Does that well, help that's us? his choice, brother. That's pussy. That's, that's what that's we get in America, one. freedom of choice. And that's pussy. If you don't vote, that's you don't vote. I'm going to vote this time, goddammit, because I'm trying to save America. Obviously, he not. Me too. But you know, like, he's trying to save it by, you know, you know, trying to cook the rice baiters, but hey. And it would be better for everyone if we stuck to the topics rather than but make it about me. But with no, about no evidence. You, but that I, I've I been just I want to give you the opportunity to respond yeah. to the I, I appreciate your criti it. the criticism. I appreciate it. There's no evidence that I've been co-opted by anyone. I have an independent podcast with it's no, not about no evidence. You, but that I, I've been just I want to give you the opportunity to exactly. respond yeah. to the I, I appreciate your criti the criticism. I appreciate it. There's no evidence that I've been co-opted by anyone. I have an independent podcast. Mm -hmm. I work for CNN as an analyst, mm -hmm. I oh, write for oh, the free press, I'm independent in all of these endeavors, and no one is paying me to say what I'm saying. I'm saying it because I feel it. I like that guy a little bit, you know? I like we it. should ask her about that, though. You think she bought and paid for it? You think she actually that <laughs> stupid? Y'all think she that stupid? I think she's actually that stupid. I think she's bought and paid for it. I think she's actually that stupid. She's 100% bought and paid for it. Your racial identity is the most important thing. Everything should be looked at through the lens of race. Because you write that the anti-racism movement, there are a couple of People, I don't even who, know who they are. Maybe you Robin know. D'Angelo. Robin D'Angelo, yeah. Ibram Kendi, for instance. Okay. Well, they, uh, you say that that is just a form of another form of racism, and you even say it has a lot in common with white supremacy. How can you compare those real. two things? You, I you're talking about anti-racism. You're comparing it to white supremacy. Because they they both view your race as a. a extremely significant part of who you are. So r r white supremacists, they obviously say, we all know what they say, okay? Uh, Neo-racists like Rob D'Angelo, they say that to be white is to be ignorant, for example. Well, wow. this is a racial stereotype, and I want to call a spade a spade and say this is not the style of anti-racism we have to be teaching our kids. We should be teaching them that your race is not a significant feature of you, who you are. Who you are is your character, your value, and your skin color doesn't say anything about But why all of them man on the panel saying, you're right? Hmm. Bro, because they don't they don't believe that he's right. That's crazy. Especially Whoopi Long, Nick. Ed. Whoopi Goldberg look like a turtle without a shell. I don't know why. He actually cooked them when he said, <laughs> oh, wow. she like Bowser <laughs> without his shell. Look, no, he Mr. cooked Krabs them when he, he said, let's not criticize me. Let's talk about actually saving America. Yeah, he said, let's stay on the topic at hand. She said, well, well I just wanted to let you address the criticism. You, you the one that's making these criticisms up. You did it. Please. You're Republican. Know. And we know what's the left's number one tactic when they're losing a tag character. They tried to attack his character. That's their go-to move. They tried to attack his character. Like like how Kobe's go-to move was that fadeaway. That's their go-to move. They yeah. tried to attack his character and discredit him so that their viewers would be like, well, maybe if he's a, a conservative and he's a pawn, we shouldn't listen. This is just a trick to get us to, to hear the truth. Well, he busted that bubble, didn't he?
I'm sorry. Yeah, that guy works for CNN. I'm sorry, guys. No, yeah, that guy's he's voted for Democrats. He's, I don't know what the hell. He, he just free thinking. Free press. He just free he thinking. Thinks, yeah, yeah. Free like thinking him. guy. You know. I like. Yeah, I he's like an independent. Too, you know? I used to be an independent as well. As long as I still kind of, but I like him a lot. As long as you know that these people are grifters, I'm cool with you. It don't matter who you vote for. Just know that these people are stupid and they're not good for America. As long as you know that what they do is not good for America, I'm cool with what you're doing, man. We are the world. Let us know what y'all think about this situation, though, guys. That was a banger. We're out of here, guys. Everybody just dance on him.